We're Orchard Hill College. We're a specialist college for adults with profound and multiple learning disabilities. We currently have five centres across London. We have one in Hackbridge, one in Wallington, one in Colshorton that you're here now, um, one in Wandsworth and one in Vauxhall. At the start of the year in September, we were thinking as a college that we need to change the classroom names here. Um, they were named funny numbers like E204, E203 that weren't really helpful to learners and staff couldn't remember the names of their own class, let alone students. So we've got Wembley Park here, which is a nice big open space. They're turning this into a roof terrace, sort of a garden and sensory garden for students. And so one of my learners called Luke had the idea of Underground Station. Um, he's a real trained fan, so it just fits in perfectly. To, and a lot of our learners here do have quite an interest in trains and transport. It was my idea to rename the classroom at our, our college after the underground stations. I love this I I love trains. I was thought it would be a good idea. My classroom is called Els Court. My classroom is on the district line. Luke's been really excited by it and he's actually working on the London Underground at Morden Underground Station. Each classroom is called order after a tube station. The Bank, Oxford Circus, Notting Hill Gate, Bond Street, Westminster, Fulham Broadway and Paddington. So it all fits in and he, he knows the maps really well and it's helped him to learn about um, the tube lines and everything for his job. Uh, it, it really suits the place, that's what I think. It really suits the place. You know, it, it makes it feel great. It's really cool. There it is, there it is. There it is. Found it. Green Park. Awesome. The people that find it very confusing is people that are coming in for a meeting because we'll say on there um, we're meeting in Westminster and we've had a few people phoning us up saying, why are we meeting in Westminster? I thought it would be Carl Shorten. So uh, they're finding it really confusing but the learners have really taken to it. My favourite song is Tour Underground and my name. Okay, why is it your favourite? Because my name on it. And what's your favourite classroom name out of all the names at college? Elves Court. Elves Court, that's your classroom, isn't it? Were you involved in deciding the names, Lawrence? Yeah. <laughs> yeah you chose our classroom name, didn't you, Lawrence Elves Court? That was your really? decision. And Luke's. Cool. I get the um, train up in London and then I walk to the O2. Oh wow, uh, the Victorian line. Okay, and then each floor's got the uh, sign here with the classroom names on. To celebrate the launch of our new signs we had an extravaganza day where each classroom decorated their room to match their new underground station name. So in Paddington, they changed their whole classroom into an underground station. They had Paddington Bear, which is made out of paper mache, and the students helped to make all the props. Um, so they had pretend escalators that were painted as a backdrop. I'm in the Westminster classroom, which is on the second floor. Um, and our students looked at the theme of Westminster, the Westminster buildings, Guy Fawkes and fireworks. Um, and we had a big firework experiment where all the students concocted their own small explosion, slightly quieter than a normal firework, and we had interactive screens with sound making um, and firework images, um, a sort of a, a rolling screen on the story of Guy Fawkes as well. Are we all ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Have a pause. You follow the green line up to Paddington to start at Wimbledon. Yeah. Put your finger on Wimbledon there. Wimbledon. And then move it all the way up. And then 
up, up there, Sean. Up there. Up to where you can find Paddington. There it is, my okay. cave. Uh, um, Paddington. Pointing. Yeah. Looking for that word. Yeah. Yay, we're well done, Vicky. The therapist actually, um, there'll be a joint scheme at the moment that's happening for outside of the door so that we can make them more real for our learners. Our learners have, some of our learners have very severe um, learning disabilities, so we need to make it accessible for them. So some of them may not be able to read the words Paddington, so or Wimbledon. So then we need to have objects that relate to that, or a picture that relates to that. Now you're more used to really doing it with your sheet these days, aren't you? Hello, my name is Sadiq. So we have Sadiq here, and Sadiq, we are from. Ready? My classroom is called Notting Hill. For our extravaganza, what did we do, Sadiq? We decorated it to look like Notting Hill Carnival, didn't we? So we had all the sights and the sounds and the smells. We had the, the, the food, we made some Jamaican patties. And we also had on a bit of reggae music, didn't we? And that is what we did. So this was our class, we dressed up as a snow and ski exhibition for um, Earl's Court. And there's Lawrence there with your scarf and everything on. And then this is me and Lawrence in Paddington, where we had the buskers, didn't we Lawrence? You, did you enjoy that? Yeah. And what did we throw at the buskers, can you remember? We threw some gold, gold money, didn't we, at them? <laughs> And this is for the opening, and we had um, a visitor from the Chelsea Football Club here for the opening, and um, staff from TFL. Where is Earl's Court on this yes. big map? Yes, over there. Oh, yeah, thank you. There, there, we are. there it is. There we go. Did you get a good grip on that, Lawrence? Is that fun? Yeah? And we're going to stretch all the way. Stretch that arm. Well done, Lawrence. It. it may be that it's a tennis racket for Wimbledon or a bank so there'll be money outside so that we can really make the association between the name for the learner so that the learner can really have independence within the college. Hello. Thanks. Hey Chris. Yeah.